many of my students usually ask me on various social media platforms or even on whatsapp that sir as a fresher or as an experienced professional which certification exam should i focus on especially in the field of data analytics data science or ai well it i, I usually don't have a one liner answer uh, in java we have sun certified java professional exam right but when it comes to data analytics data science or ai we do not have a specific governing body that basically gives you a certification that you are data analytics certified so i usually have no answers for them and i get in touch with them i try to explain them over a call about the entire scenario about the certifications about the pros and cons and for me it has been a tedious process because this is a very very common question that everybody asks so what are the major certifications in the field of data analytics data science or ai we are going to discuss that in this video apart from that whether these certifications helps you in the resume building process or in enhancing your profile while applying for multiple opportunities whether it is a yes or no you will be getting the answers till the end of this video so stay tuned till the end and see you in the video Hey guys my name is Satyajit Patnaik with over of 13 years of industrial experience and more than 8 to 9 years of experience into data industry coming into data analytics data science and ai i have a lot of experience in teaching data analytics data science and ai as well and in this video we are going to focus on certifications now before answering about whether certifications add values to your profile or not i would like to talk about some of the most important certifications in the space of data analytics science and ai and the first certification we are going to discuss is going to be tableau certification now tableau has its own certification examination in case you want to go for that you can definitely have to go through the entire curriculum of tableau learn each and everything build some portfolio projects and then go for the certification exam well exact uh what exact topics are needed for you to attend those inter, uh, attend those certification exams i'm not going to cover that but i'm going to share you a beautiful document about all of these seven examinations and what are the prerequisites link will be in the description below the second examination i'm going to talk about is pl 300 now pl 300 before pl 300 there was a different examination for data analytics in azure pl 300 is very specific to the power bi part so in case you are practicing on power bi you are a data visualization expert you do have good knowledge on dax queries rls dynamic static and various other things of power bi then you can go for a pl 300 certification the third certification we are going to talk about is Google Data Analytics certificate now Google Data Analytics certification is available on Coursera many of my students have gone through the examination gone through the certification and from multiple resources i have understood i myself have not gone for that examination but i know that Google data certification is especially on Google products so you will be working on Google sheets you will be working on Google data studios you will be working on Google analytics which is very very specific to Google but yes that certification can also be added to your profile the fourth important certification i'm going to talk about is dp900 so dp900 is nothing but the azure data fundamentals course which is a microsoft certified certification now again if you look at this particular examination certificate examination they majorly cover concepts related to azure relational data in azure non relational data in azure explore data analytics in azure and so on the next important certification i'm going to talk about is ai 102 AI 102 is one of the most advanced AI certification that is available under the belt of Microsoft. AI 102 takes care of multiple aspects. If you are into the AI space, you are working with Azure products like AI Vision, AI Language, Open AI or Azure Open AI or AI Search, these kind of tools. The sixth most important Sixth and seventh are very much related to each other. They are AWS certified machine learning in associate and specialty. Now both of them are of different uh, expertise level. Associate is a 
intermediate level of certification whereas specialty is a pro certification now based on your experience level if you are familiar with the uh, we are we are familiar with the aws jargons on how to deploy products or how to use docker images how to you know access aws ai platform to work on multiple aspects you you have a knowledge on these kind of things then you should definitely go for that coming back to the topic uh, i have talked about seven important certifications right apart from that there are many other certifications but the question remains the same whether the certifications are important or not now i will be talking about this most important topic whether it is important or not i will try to i mean i will try to ask you this question what do you think let me know in the comment section pause this video let me know in the comment section what do you think what is your stake on these kind of certifications well my stake is if you notice very clearly there is no governing body for data analytics data science or ai so i'll 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 not tell the huge name of analytics science and ai i'll just tell data in the field of data there is no governing body because data is not a particular skill data is a domain when it comes to computer science nobody can tell you right what are the official certifications in computer engineering if you go for a masters degree or a bachelors degree yes those certifications those degrees have value similarly data science degrees given by multiple universities have values because they are official degrees but certifications there are no governing bodies for data that provide certification in java we have sun certified sun is the parent company of java sun certified java professional which basically certifies you that you are a java expert but when it comes to data science data analytics ai there is no such governing body that's why you have seen that multiple big organizations like google have their own certification aws have their own certifications they have ai certifications uh, like ai associates ml associates ml specialty uh, cloud practitioners and multiple other things and when it comes to azure they also have their own things they have power bi very specific to power bi they have pl300 very specific to ai they have ai102 or dp900 so whether these certifications are important or not these certifications are not mandatory i'll be very honest with you i go through a lot of resumes i do a lot of hiring for various of my friend friend companies and you know in, in short i do a lot of hiring and interview for multiple companies when i screen the resumes i usually go for the experience not with the certifications because well i wanted to talk about a story but i'll not tell uh, uh, in fact i'll tell there are some of my friends who have lots and lots of certifications but they don't have hands on experience so certifications does not guarantee that you have hands on experience so for me as a recruiter for me what's the most important thing the resume uh, pointers what the student have mentioned the projects if the projects are in sync with what i am expecting then definitely i'll go for you know interviews with the candidate certifications can be added as an add on but there is no mandatory thing certification are not that required i do not have a single certificate i'll be very honest with you i have never gone for certification exams well i did pl300 long uh, not pl300 da100 which was da100 i did that long back uh, without any practice i just went for the exam i cleared it so but uh, apart from that i don't have any other certification so my stake on certifications is that yes if you are thinking that you are perfect and you are not getting that calls go for certifications imagine you have you have knowledge on everything but still you are not getting calls there could be issues with your resume but if you think your resume is all right then go for certifications apart from that knowledge is more important than certifications so focus more on portfolio projects focus more on adding more skills to your profile try to have a resume specific to a specific job description so do not create a generic resume and apply for all create different resumes for different job description and that will help you out so in short certifications are there multiple brands are giving certifications 
sometimes your companies might require you to go for certifications but it is not mandatory that's all about this particular video in case you have anything to talk about let me know in the comment section and also let me know which topics you would like to see me coming up with the upcoming videos are you more interested in data analytics are you more interested in nlp or generative ai or any other topic let me know in the comment section that's it see you in the next video till then bye bye